Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tanya Gaya and I have a prophetic word to share with you today. This one is based on a dream that I had this morning, which is the 18th of November. Um, yeah, and it's quite exciting. It's a really, really cool one. So let's jump straight to it. Oh, before I jump straight to it, um, I just want to um, say, please remember that with every prophetic word, um, that you need to take it to the Lord in prayer, that you need to spend some time with Him and ask him what he's saying to you through the word if you believe that the word is for you and sometimes you just need to ask him if the word actually is meant for you and um, yeah just remember that we prophesy in part and we know in part so i don't know the full picture i don't have all the answers and um, that's why um, and, and god does that because he's such a good father because he wants relationship with each and every single one of us um, and yeah, I think that's a special thing that he does just so he can be, um, you know, in relationship with everyone. So yeah, I encourage you to take this word to the Lord in prayer. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the word. So God is using people to elevate you, to progress you, to ensure that you do what he's calling you to do, whatever it may be in this season. He's using people to get you to where you need to be, to be doing the work that you that he has ordained for you from the very foundation of the earth. The scripture that I'd like to share with you to start this word off is from Deuteronomy 26 verse 19 and I'll read from the New King James Version and it reads as follows and that he will set you high above all nations which he has made in praise in name and in honor and that you may be a holy people to the Lord your God just as he has spoken. So God has in this dream pointed out two scenarios in which he will be um, recruiting people, using people to get you where he needs you to be. In the first case, he'll be using the people that have been, um, you know, that have been against you for so long. The people who have tried to hold you back in life. Um, and also people who have pitied you and laughed behind your back when you were going through a tough time, when you were going through that wilderness experience, when you were in the fire, when you were just in that place in your life where everything just seems to be, seemed to be falling apart and that it seemed that your life was over. Um, he'll be using those people to help you to get to where he needs you to be. God showed me in the dream how they actually need you more than you need them. Um, and the reason he's using them is so that he may be glorified, is so that they may understand and they may see and know that all that is happening in your life is because of his hand, is because of him, that they may also behold the glory of the Lord and also that they may repent. He's giving them a chance to repent. He's giving them a chance to turn their lives around and to dedicate their lives to him so that he too may take them on the journey that he needs to take them on in order for them to walk into the promises, into the life that he has in store for them. So God will use those people to help you and to help them. So it's not just so that um, you can gloat and be like, ha, huh, you were laughing or whatever. It's because God has a plan for everyone and he's helping you and he's helping them through them helping you, which is so beautiful. And the scripture that I have in support of that is from Psalm 75 verse 5 and it's also from the New King James Version. I think yeah, the whole time I'll be using New King James, I think. But let's just see. And the scripture reads, But God is the judge. He puts down one and exalts another. So there's a time for people to be put down. There's a time for people to be exalted. And in this time, God is using the people that he's putting down to exalt you. What a beautiful, poetic picture that is. <laughs> and God is saying that in this scenario, you must be ready. Make sure that you're ready and that you're prepared because... Um, this is going to happen quicker than you actually think. While you're still tracking the progress and trying to, um, and, and, and thinking actually that this is actually going to take a while from your point of view, before you know it, there it is at your doorstep, it's <laughs> doorstep, at your doorstep and it's time for you to get going and you don't want to be caught unawares. Um, and even if you are caught unawares, God is so graceful and so good, he'll help you to get ready. But God is saying, just be aware of that. Don't be too caught up in looking at the circumstances and saying, well, this is obviously going to take a while because look, 
what's happening. Um, God is saying it'll actually happen quicker than you actually expect while you still thinking that you're clever and yes, I'm so clever and I can analyze my situation. It's at your door. <laughs> so remember to walk in the spirit at all times. Remember to be close to God and to hear from him because he's your guide. He's the one who sees the whole picture, what you don't see. So be prepared for what's coming. Be prepared for the help that God is sending you through people that um, haven't always been um, on your side in, in your seasons past. So in another um, instance, in other instances, God is taking you, is taking people out of situations that have been strenuous and stressful, situations where you have been held back by people in authority, where you haven't had space to, to be yourself, to do what you need to do, to follow your calling, your ministry, or whatever it is that God is calling you to do. You felt constantly held back in these situations, constantly suppressed. It could be a job situation, it could be a living situation, it could be a church situation, where you've really been held back, where you haven't been allowed to bloom and to be who you are. God is saying that He is sending people to take you out of that situation. Situation. God will use those people to catapult you into places and to things that you could only have dreamed of. Stuff that happens in the movies. God is using these people to catapult you into those situations, into where He needs you to be, what He's called you to do, what He created you for. These people will bring you up to their level. And even though it it, it may seem like they're not willing because of their position. So people in these high positions, um, these, these are people that are famous. These are people that are known internationally. These are world famous people, whether it's in politics, whether it's in entertainment, but these are people who are well known. God made that very clear that it's not just um, people that, um, you know, are well off, have the resources. He's talking about people who are known. He's talking about famous people. And these people will um, pull you up to their level. They'll bring you into their spaces. And so because they are who they are, they may come across as arrogant, as unwilling to help, but actually they really are willing to help and they will help you. And they will even give you insight into people they've tried to help who didn't want their help. Um, they will also have people around them who will be like, um, not bodyguards as such, but people who want to stand in the way and be like, oh no, he's untouchable, why are you here? Um, God says don't worry about that kind of thing because he's already He's already put it on that person's heart to help you, to, to elevate you, to to bring you to their level and to, yeah, to basically help you into your calling, into what God is, is calling you to do. So don't even be deterred by any of that. And the scripture that I have for, for this that God gave me is from 1 Samuel 2 verse 8, which is also New King James. <laughs> he raises the poor from the dust. Sorry guys, they're doing things, banging stuff. I don't know, they're fixing walls and stuff outside. So they will be things, funny enough, noises. So I'm going to start that verse again. 1 Samuel 2 verse 8. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the beggar from the ash heap to set them among princes and make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them. What a beautiful scripture. And God is also saying, guys, through all of this, please remain humble and remain teachable and remain grateful. God is saying, just continue to thank him and to give him the glory and the praise because he's doing this for <laughs> this is for his glory guys he's you are going to be put into these um, high places for his glory so remain humble remain grateful remain teachable the second scripture that i have here for this is psalms 145 verse 14 the lord upholds all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down this is speaking to humility if you are humble god will raise you up remain humble don't let anything get to your head. Focus your eyes on Jesus and, and where he's taking you to on the task that he's given you and remain humble. Another scripture is from Psalm 30 verse 1. It says, I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. Also in Leviticus 26 verse 13, I am the Lord your God 
who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that you should not be their slaves. I have broken the bands of your yoke and made you walk upright. This is what the Lord has done for you. And now you are going into a space where you are going to be influential on a larger platform than you've ever been on, than you've ever imagined that you'd ever be on. And yes, this is all God making these opportunities available for you. And it's up to you to grab a hold of them by speaking into your situation, ignoring your circumstances, not letting your circumstances dictate your future rather. And you speak into those circumstances and speak what God has told you about your calling, about your life. There is also a warning that came up in this dream. And God is saying, be very careful, keep your focus on Jesus and keep focused on the task that he's given you, on your calling. Don't get involved in things that don't involve you, that don't need you. Don't look at other people's projects and their ministries or whatever and think, oh, let me get involved in that. Let me uh, stick my hand in this and in that. God is saying, no, be very careful because that will distract and it will derail you. It will distract and it will derail you. And if you are not careful, you will be derailed to such a point that you find yourself in a situation where you'll be dragged into people's problems and issues. And it's not gonna be easy to get out of it because now you're caught up. And to, to get out of that situation will literally take the hand of God. And God is saying, be careful, just avoid all of that. Stay close to God. Don't let yourself get pulled into things that don't need you. And how do you know how to stay out of people's things and to and to and what to focus on? Stay close to God. Have an active prayer life. Have moments with him. Have time with him. Have relationship with him. Let him be your foundation, your pillar, your 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 guide, your everything. Don't don't go into this life without him. Let him be your guide. Let him speak into you. Let him speak over you. Let him, um, yeah, let him be your guide. And don't, 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 don't lose your way by by thinking, okay, yeah, I am. I've arrived. I can take it from here, Lord. I don't need you. Um, we may not say that to God, but our actions say that. And before long, you're caught up. You don't know what's going on, and you're going down a very, very um, dark road, undesirable road, and that's not what you need. So stay close to the Lord and be in His presence at all times. Um, I'd like to read from Philippians 3 verse 15 verse 20. No, <laughs> from Philippians verse chapter 3 verse 15 to 21, and I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. And it reads as follows. Let all who are spiritually mature agree on these things. If you disagree on some point, I believe God will make it plain to you. But we must hold on to the progress we have already made. Dear brothers and sisters, pattern your lives after mine. That's Paul, not me. <laughs> and learn from those who follow our example. For I have told you often before, and I say it again with tears in my eyes, that our that there are many whose conduct shows they are really enemies of the cross of Christ. This is those people that will derail you, that will distract you. They are headed for destruction. Their God is their appetite. They brag about shameful things and they think only about this life here on earth. But we are citizens of heaven where the Lord Jesus Christ lives. And we are eagerly waiting for him to return as our savior. He will take our weak mortal bodies and change them into glorious bodies like his own, using the same power with which he will bring everything under his control. Friends, this life and what God is bringing into your life and taking you into is not about um, just us having an appetite for earthly things. It's about our heavenly citizenship. We are here to glorify the Lord. And God loves us so much that in Him being glorified, we too get to share in that glory and to live a good life, an abundant life. But God is saying your focus must be on heaven. It must be on Him. Because when your focus is on Him, then you won't get caught up. You won't get lost. You won't be discouraged. 
you won't be discouraged. You won't find yourself being um, tormented by the spirit of heaviness because you know why you're here, what your purpose is, and who your eyes are on. And that is such an important thing to keep you in a place of peace and joy and love. Friends, that's the message that God has for you today. It's so exciting. Um, I've already seen it come to pass in certain people in my life and I'm just like wow um, as I'm like um, speaking now um, and recording this I'm like yes Lord I I've started to see it it's so awesome to see how you're you're elevating people and you're using people of prominence Lord Jesus it's amazing so yeah that's the word for today my friends I pray that it has blessed you again just so you know, I'm going through the emails, I'm praying over each one and um, yeah, there is there are a lot of emails coming in so bear with me, I'm getting to each one and thank you for sending your emails and your prayer requests. Um, it's, it's such a blessing to be able to pray for others as opposed to always it being about me, you know, God, me, 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 it's, it's a beautiful way of remembering that it's not all about me, it's not always about me, that there's a, there's a family here. And there's a bigger picture. So yeah, thank you guys for the emails. I'm getting to them. And thank you for all your amazing comments. I'm really grateful for them. And yeah, you serve an amazing, good father who loves you so much. And you are so, so, so special to him.